हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड हाउ टू कंपोनेंट्स इन ब्लेजर कम्युनिकेट वेन देर इज नो डिरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कंपोनेंट्स इज प्रेजेंट ब्लेजर डज हैव इवेंट कॉल बैक्स बट अगेन इट ओनली वर्क इफ देर इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू कंपोनेंट्स इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लेट्स ए पेरेंट चाइल्ड और सिबलिंग्स बट इट फॉल शॉर्ट when there is no direct relationship between two components is present the answer lies in broadcasting you see inherently blazer lacks this feature right but today we are going to implement one for blazer we are going to divide this entire video into three different sections in first section we are going to implement an event in javascript which then we are going to convert in event handlers for our c sharp then we are going to publish and subscribe that event simple enough right well enough talk let us dive into this demo of the application and let me show you what we are trying to achieve in this video on the screen i have this web page where i can add a language a programming language then once the language has been added it broadcasts this object into this dashboard page this dashboard page then receives the object and add the programming language into its list of other programming language same for dashboard 2 so this is a sender and this two are the receivers let's try that out let's go ahead and add c sharp creator and the year of creation which is 2000 i click on save and you see the entry is added into both of the dashboards You will also notice I have console window open here. I am logging some messages. The message goes like this: broadcast message sent, and the object that we are sending across. On the receiver's end, message says broadcast message received with the same object. Same story for dashboard two. Now let's try out. Let's add C plus plus. C plus plus has a name, creator, and the year of creation. click on save you see the new message has been sent and the new message has been received and the list is updated so this is how the broadcasting work between these three components there is no relationship this is independently sending a message and this two subscribing to that broadcast event which are receiving the message let's go ahead and implement this in blazor it's going to be fun so crack open your visual studio Select Blazor Web Assembly app. Leave the settings as it is, unless you want to change. Then give the name. Be very creative while giving the name. Then click on Create. Then it will create a Blazor application which comes in the box. Let's clean this application a little bit and start working on it. So we are going to start by adding a JavaScript initializer file. You can read about it on the screen. I also link down this document somewhere in the description box. Basically, what it does, there are two events. before or after your blazor application load if you want to execute some form of code then you can condition that inside this file there is only one naming convention that you have to follow while naming the file the name of your blazor application then followed by lib.module.js and this file supposed to be housed inside www root folder so let's go ahead and add this file i'm going to copy this extension we'll jump back to our application and inside www root folder right click add new file then select web javascript and simply give the name of the application which is test in my case followed by the extension i click on create all right a file is created let's go ahead and add some code into this file so we want to create an broadcast event after your blazor application is loaded into browser right so we are going to execute one function So go ahead and export. Go ahead and write a function for that. Export function, and the name of the function would be after started. After started, then pass the instance of the application, which is Blazor. Open and close. Inside this, we need to register a custom event. For that, use a method called register custom event types. Now inside this method, there are two parameters. First parameter is the name of the event itself. In our case, that would be broadcast. And the second would be the parameter that goes with this event. The parameter would be new object because as you saw in the demo, we were sending a new instance of an object every single time we broadcast the message. 
So open and close the curly bracket. Now inside this curly bracket, use the key create event args and pass an event to the key. Use the arrow function to pass a new object. Let's store this object in a variable called e. Now this is where the name of your parameter goes along. Okay. Uh, for simplicity, let's call it data. Okay. So data and then uh, we are going to read this data from let's call it global data. Now this global data, don't worry about the global data as of now, we are going to initialize this global data when we subscribe and publish this event. But what we are, what we are saying is that when, when the broadcast event is triggered, it's going, to, it's going to have an object as a parameter and the name of the object would be data and the value of the object would be global data. Okay. And at the end, just simply run the object. I guess the only last thing is remaining is add the semicolon here. Also don't miss the comma between the name of the event and the parameter of the event. Now let's try to subscribe to this event and let's validate if this event is in fact registered or not. So for that, let's go ahead and add a receiver. In our case, we are going to add a new razor file and we are going to call it dashboard. Select a razor component and call it dashboard. Now inside the dashboard, you need to subscribe to that event on any of the HTML element. Let's for simplicity again, stay, let's stick with div. If you remember, there's a norm that goes with, with HTML elements. Now before the name of the event, the keyword on is prefixed, right? So we're going to use that event like this at the rate on and broadcast. Then the name of the event handler, let's call it received message you will quickly notice there's a problem here what I, what I meant is if I if I subscribe to any other event something like this on click and then right immediately you will see the color of the event is in purple whereas the color of our event is still blue it tells me that our event hasn't been registered so far you know why because we haven't registered an event in C sharp so far, the Blazor application only aware about this JavaScript, but not about the C sharp part of it. So we need to register this event in C sharp for an HTML element to use that. So I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it um, event. Now inside the event, you need to add a class, select an empty class and give the name and handlers. Okay. Now this class is going to be static. So get rid of that constructor. We need to add an attribute for this class, which is event handlers. Our first parameter of the event handler is the name of the event itself. And in our case, that is on broadcast. So pass that name as a string. And the second parameter would be event arguments type. So let's go ahead and create an one class, which will represent an event argument type. Let's call it public class broadcast event arguments. Now, we need to inherit this class from event args and then we need one property. If you go back to a JavaScript file and if you remember, we use the parameter name as a data and we need to match this parameter name. So go ahead and create a string property with the same name. At the end, just pass the type of this object. And we should be good and let's go back and check and there you go event has been registered and if you just want to cross check that add another div another div and add an event on broadcast and you will see the intelligence is now suggesting our own event and if I, if you hover over it you will see it is referring to event callback that we just created beautiful right amazing let's let's go ahead and implement the handler so i'm gonna i'm gonna create that method private void and receive message that's the receive message and inside the parameter we need to take this right because that is what our even handler accept as a parameter let's call it arguments and we should be good there you go perfect perfect so we have an event which is subscribing from the JavaScript. We need to add another JavaScript, which will publish that event to the subscribing objects. 
or to this or to be specific to the subscribing components let's go ahead and add another javascript file inside your application go to web select javascript and let's name it broadcasting so we are going to start by creating a new broadcasting channel new broadcasting channel and then you have to give the name of the channel itself now this name could be anything since since we are only going to have one broadcasting channel so i'm just going to call it recom now if we go back to our javascript initializer file and you see we had something called global data right this is where we are going to initialize that global data so create a variable to store the global data initialize with empty string now in order to send the broadcast message we are going to have one function and in, in order to receive the broadcast message we are going to have another function all right so let's create that create a function let's call it send broadcast we're going to have some data as a parameter while sending it if you remember we are broadcasting an object so that that is what this represents and simply say channel dot post message and broadcast that object now here and this is where i was logging the messages into the console you can log the message for debugging purpose i do that always uh, it's easy to debug that way now on the receiver's end there's one event in javascript that gets triggered it's called on message so we need to subscribe to that event let's go ahead and do that channel dot on message there you go receive an event just like send broadcast let's create another function to receive the broadcast let's call it receive broadcast even this function will accept an object as a parameter which is which is we are passing it in the form of data if you remember so event dot data here again don't forget to log the message for debugging purposes let's call it message receive and that would be event dot data and now let's implement this function so call it function name of the function the data is a parameter this is where we are going to fire that broadcast event from javascript to c sharp we can do in multiple ways but one simple way to do that is directly use the id of an element because ids are unique to the element so i'm going to go to dashboard razor and here i'm going to add one id and let's call it receiver or broadcasting receiver then come back to your javascript create a one constant say element document dot get element by id and pass the name of the id which is we are interested in which is this so copy from there pass it as a parameter now we received that element in the form of object and this is where we are going to initialize that global data so global data equal to data from here on we are going to create a new custom event so let's call it let e equal to new custom event the name of the name of the event if you remember name of the event is broadcast simply copy it from here pass it here and the second parameter is the object itself so open and curly bracket now we have to make sure this events get bubble up to the dom tree so say bubbles true so inside the detail we are going to pass the values to the data so say detail then data and simply pass the value that we receive inside a global function inside a global data add the semicolon here and in the end just say element dot dispatch event and pass this object now back to our old c sharp code what what we are doing is we are passing a programming language as object so we need to create the model for it so i'm going to go to event class and add a new class let's call it programming language 
and if you remember from the demo we had three fields right the name creator and the year so go ahead and add that three fields or properties into your class from here our index.razor is going to act as a sender so i'm going to go to index.razor i'm going to get rid of all this old code and i have added some html here with this html we are trying to create a form okay the form to add a programming language so there are three input fields first in input field represent the name of the programming language second input field represents the creator of the programming language and the third input field this is represent represents the year when the programming language was created and then at the end we have simply one button when you click on that button is going to broadcast that event okay so you can just copy the entire html i'm also going to drop this all of the source code somewhere in github so you can just simply download from there but i'm going to move on to the juicy part of it that is the c sharp again at the code section here at the bottom start by creating instance of a programming language add the namespace on the top the object name is language and if you can see these three fields are bound with this object now let's go ahead and add save method so for that i'm going to create a method name private void and the save language async now what we need to do, we need to pass this object through the JavaScript. Now in order to pass any C sharp object through the JavaScript, we need to serialize into string and deserialize at the end of the receiver again back in the form of object. So for that we need a Newton soft package or JSON serializer. Go to your NuGet packages and add a Newton soft. Once the package has been installed on the top say using Newtonsoft dot JSON. So inside a method, say JSON convert dot serialize object, and then pass our language object. Now we need to pass this serialized version through the JavaScript. So first, let me store that into some kind of object. Let's call it obj is equal. Then now we need JavaScript. So I need to inject javascript ijs runtime let's call it js here now say await say js dot invoke void async first parameter is the name of the javascript function and if you go back to our java broadcasting dot js the name of the javascript function is send broadcast so copy from there go back to index dot razor and pass that name of the JavaScript function as a parameter and second parameter is the data. The data is the object and in our case the object is the serialized version of this programming language. So here say new object open close and inside of curly brackets pass the object parameter. Okay let's just add a little bit html to show that receive object on the web page so go back to your dashboard for the html simply add one table i have a table with three columns and each column is bound to programming language object so let's go ahead and create that object using events now what are you going to do when you receive the broadcasting message we are going to deserialize that string back in the form of programming language object. So for that, we're going to need, we're going to need Newtonsoft dot JSON. Here say JSON convert dot deserialize object. Then we have to pass the type of the object. Then the parameter says arguments args dot data so let me store that in temporary variable let me call it received language oh also on the receivers end this is a list of programming language not just a programming language so go ahead and make that list of programming languages okay so i'm going to change that here and simply just going to call it list right and every single time you received a new object, you're just going to add that object into this list. So programming language languages dot add and newly received language. 
we need to add the route to this dashboard page right that's that is how we are going to navigate so add a route so we are done with coding part let's see if this actually works or not click on run okay so let's start with c sharp 2000 click on save and then there are a bunch of errors let's see what's happening now oh so um, we did not add a javascript file script tag into our index.html hmm. okay so close this again close this again open your index.html page here we are going to add a script tag inside a head tag at this entry where the type is javascript and then give the source of the javascript file in our case the name of the file is broadcasting with a capital b dot js and then build it again and run this run this bad boy unexpected identifier receive broadcast let's see what's happening okay so we have exception in javascript okay we mispronounced the keyword function okay let's let's run that again Okay, let me open dashboard. Let's open the console on both end. This time, this time it should work. Come on. C sharp, creator, and the PO. Save, save. Wow. Okay. So you see, broadcast message has been sent. So JavaScript is working and we have some exception on the receiver end. reference error can't find event data let's see what's happening so half of the portion is working at least oh it's it so we forgot the dot between event and data it's event dot data right okay fingers crossed save message sent and there you go message has been received let's add another language say c plus plus 1979 click on save and there you go second language has been added now let me give you the overall picture what is happening under the hood so our index.razor calls and javascript method named send broadcast which brings us here now send broadcast method subscribe to broadcasting channel and publish a broadcast event to all the divs which are listening to, to all the divs which have this as id now if you go back to dashboard.razor we have a div with the same id then this javascript method sends that data down to this div which receives that data and subscribe to that event and then deserialize that object into a programming language object which is c sharp form of the same data so we just proved one to one from one sender to one receiver let's see if this model works from one sender to multiple receiver because that is what broadcasting is in nutshell right so i'm going to add a dashboard two i'm going to add a new razor component call it dashboard two okay i'm going to copy everything from the dashboard and just simply going to paste it here and only going to change the url of it which is dashboard 2 now let's run this and see if that works for both of the dashboard or not c sharp 2000 save 1 and 2 both of the dashboard is working so one sender multiple receivers broadcasting save it back there you go beautiful and that's how it's done thank you so much guys for watching till the end you can download this source code from the github link that i'm going to post it below thank you so much for watching the video till the end i hope this video was helpful to you and i'll see you in the next video have a good one thank you